you to go places in half the time it takes to travel by car. For some trips, it'll be faster than flying, without the pat-down. It's the sort of security we've seen a lot of since 9-11 in places like airports, and now here at the bus station. Specific, credible, recent threats that are causing what some believe to be these invasive, invasive screening tactics. Robin, we know the threats are real, and we have seen this latest information coming out of Al Qaeda and Arabian Peninsula. Remind Americans why we now check our liquids. It's because a mother was willing to blow up the baby and the entire plane right. with the liquids. Right. The Department of Homeland Security has not been forthcoming with the public about the true extent of radiation risk. Advanced imaging technology would not have discovered the type of bomb that Umar Farouk Abdul Muttalib had had secreted in his underwear. Well, I think reasonable people may, may uh, disagree on that. We are not retaining, we are not keeping, they're not designed for that at all. The TSA is reiterating today that although its machines can store images when they're being tested, quote, all functionality to store, export, or print images is disabled. Throughout history and in every culture, there is a basic precept of law that if someone has been caught lying before. What's the difference between lying and misleading Congress? It all has to do with your state of mind and whether or not you had the requisite intent to come up with something that can be considered perjury or a lie. You should not believe anything else that they tell you. It would not apply to those who are here illegally. It's not true. And when someone has been confirmed to be a congenital or serial liar, you are a fool to believe anything they say. It has been months, and you tell me that you're not, uh, you weren't, you weren't doing it because of an IG investigation. Well, let's go through a few questions here, Madam. Well, wait, wait, just no, no, a minute. no, wait, wait, just wait. Let me just finish a my wait question, just a minute. Madam Secretary. Let me finish go my ahead, question. Uh, that, that insinuation is not you're, accurate. You know about the TSA and their pension for molesting children, raping women in parking lots, robbing luggage, stealing cash out of wallets, beating people up, and then lying about them. You know about their pension for child porn and the incredible uh, statistical analysis that we've seen that they are predisposed to engage in crime. No kidding, who else wants a job groping men, women, and children all day and f making old ladies who can't walk crawl out of wheelchairs and ripping colostomy bags off of people's sides? Who else wants to abuse people all day but criminals and control freaks? But in this report, I want to look at just some of their lies because they're constantly lying. And the prostitute trader stream media that serves the globalist and these brown shirts of the federal takeover need to all be called on the carpet. Now, let's just look at the latest lie that came out today. The Tennessean newspaper reports Nashville airport video doesn't show irate Senator Rand Paul. And they link to the video, and there is Paul being completely calm with the police. They're now also having to admit that he was detained for more than an hour and a half, as he said he was which under common law is a custodial arrest. So there you have it. Within minutes of this being put out by Ron Paul on his Twitter, the New York Times talked to the TSA and said, he wasn't even stopped for five minutes. He's a liar and uh, he was irate. And the police put in their report, part of this culture of lying, that he was irate. All lies by a group of people that lie and lie and lie some more. And then of course, Lie some more. And we have the White House siding with the TSA. We have Rush Limbaugh coming out and saying, oh, his dad's like a Muslim terrorist. You know, let, let start the groping. You know, after all, he flies on, he flies on private jets. But let's look at some of the TSA lies that affect us all. Radiation. They've had studies back in the late 1990s from these same systems, and that's why they weren't deployed all over the world. These things have been around for decades, that they're massively linked to different types of cancer. So John Hopkins and many other prestigious universities come out and put out reports in the last few years saying, our studies show this stuff can give you cancer. I mean, the scans are so powerful, you can see the skeleton bones in the fingers. I mean, it's, it's high powered. Uh, and all these studies come out, so the TSA comes out and says, Johns Hopkins says it's totally safe. And the head of Johns Hopkins radiology department comes out and says, 
Our study actually says the opposite. And the TSA doesn't correct their mistake because it's not a mistake. They are a pack of criminal, out of control, 10th Amendment violating and 4th Amendment violating goons who are now setting up checkpoints on the highways of America. And that's why the feds don't care how much anger or how many tens of billions in terrorism the TSA destroys from foreigners that won't come here and Americans like myself that won't travel uh, because I won't have my family groped because they're getting ready to be all over the United States. They're going to hire your local police, it's been announced. They're going to run checkpoints, mobile vans. It's already happening. So you think you're just not going to fly and get away with this? Oh, sorry. There's plenty of people that couldn't hold a job at McDonald's that are going to be officer and agent TSA. And your wife, your wife's in deep trouble. And your children, they're in even deeper trouble. Psychologists have come out and pointed out that the TSA groping of children is actually training them that when pedophiles touch them to test and see if they've been acclimated for rape, that they will submit to the touching and not say no. And what's the TSA say? They say, we don't think that's the case. And again, lie to the public and say everything's okay. And claim, despite the fact that there are hundreds of videos and photos showing them taking babies' diapers off and going in the pants of small children, they come out and say over and over again for three years, we do not go in the clothes or even through the clothes and touch genitals of under 12. And then hundreds of videos come out and they say, okay, we're going to stop. Last time they said that was in November of 2010. And continued it over and over again and said again, we won't do it. Continued it. Lying, lying, lying. First they say it's not groping and sexual assault. Then they say they're not doing it. Then they say they're going to stop doing it and continue it over and over again. Lying about radiation. Lying about groping, lying about the sexual assault, lying about the statistics on how many of their people are caught engaged in every crime you can imagine. But then you see bizarre statements on the TSA blog and in their press releases saying, there's hardly any complaints. Why? Hardly anyone is against this. And we only pat down 2%, which is a total lie. I fly all the time. I'm forced to as a journalist. I fly a lot. My crew flies a lot. And in hundreds of flights total, We've estimated that at least a third of the people where we fly are groped, including most people who are put through the naked body scanners. So they're lying to you about radiation. They're lying to you about groping and sexual assault. They're lying and saying they're going to stop doing it to children. Or they say they never did it to children. Or they say they didn't go in the pants of Miss USA. And then she goes and gets the video and they admit they did it. But let's continue. A few months ago, a whole bunch of 85 and 90-year-old women, many of which couldn't even get out of their wheelchairs, started reporting that they were taken behind closed doors and made to take all their clothes off. And the TSA came out and said, you're lying, we don't do that. And then so many people went public that they said, well, we do take you behind closed doors and take your clothes off. We don't call it a strip search. And then even in their apology, the women who've been assaulted by them say it's all lies. I mean, it's lies within lies within lies within lies. But what do you expect from a federal brown shirt goon force meant to dog train us and break our will to basically live like maximum security prisoners? They're coming to malls, highway checkpoints, they're already there, sporting games. We're all being trained to have government put their hands on us, and TSA is now training for forced inoculation. Federal grants to local police, they're training them for forced inoculation. That's why they're doing this. That's why they're, they're lying to the American people, because we're seen as an enemy, and you lie to an enemy in warfare. This is a foreign banking cartel occupying the United States, and the TSA is their shock troops to bureaucratically go out there and train us to accept this. In just the last week, Homeland Security has come out and said, we're not just about terror. We're going to hire your local police. We're going to certify who can get jobs anywhere. We're going to set up checkpoints in your town. We're going to have spies all over Twitter and Facebook. We're going to have citizen spies on the ground recording what you say politically. They are recreating classical, hardcore despotism. This is 200 proof evil. This is certified as bad as it gets. It's conscious takeover. Oh, and also they said that the machines could not physically hold images. The machines are not set to store uh, images. They're not set to transmit images. Uh
And then we got the manuals sent to us by insiders that said that when they test the machines, they look to see if they can see the genitals and that that is the marker they look for to make sure that the machine is tuned right and that indeed all the images are saved, not just at airports, but at courthouses and have been leaked and shared and they pin them up on the wall. And when they see a good looking woman, it's come out, they put them through them. So they lied about saving the images. There have been cases in England where they come up to famous film stars and ask them to sign scans of their own genitals. This is really happening. And of course, it's a bunch of abusers that are willing to take these jobs. Remember that basic precept in law, that if someone's been caught lying before, don't believe anything they say, and they're criminals. What do they say about the devil? He's the father of lies. Whether you believe in the devil or not, this is a devilish attribute that we're seeing. This is tyranny. Why do we just accept when government lies about Rand Paul and says that he was irate and wasn't detained? Both lies. Why do we not get upset about that? Why do we trust people that act like this? The truth is more and more Americans are awake. Congress has a 9% approval rating. The system knows we're waking up to them. So now they're taking the velvet glove off the iron fist and just going with the iron fist. It is time to reawaken the spirit of 1776. It is time to recognize it is criminal when the TSA violates the 10th and 9th Amendment and operates in our states, but it's even more criminal when they grope our children, our wives, and our husbands and harass our old people and make cancer patients get out of wheelchairs that can't walk and make passengers help get them out of their chair. This is assault and it's criminal. It's sexual and physical assault. But it's also criminal when we put up with it, we become cowardly accomplices to these scum. The TSA takeover of America has unified the people. And so have a lot of other issues. And the system knows that their attempt to break our will is backfiring. Get this key report out to everyone you know. The future of our republic and the world depends on it because this corporate tyranny is being exported everywhere and speak out against these criminals and let the TSA and their handlers know we are aware of their criminal takeover and stand against their terrorism against the American people. Well, here's a couple of things that we're working on. Uh, number one is expanding trusted traveler programs, programs where people will get biometric cards, they've already supplied information, we know they are safe to travel, we can move them through the system.